was a ladder leading down at least 100 feet. His curiosity got the best of him and he ventured down. Luckily, he had brought a flashlight with him. At the bottom of the ladder was a tunnel leading towards another door. The tunnel was cold and it looked as if no one had been down there for over 10 years. He came to the door and saw it had something written on it. It read, Carnivore Habitat, Restricted Personnel Only. The door was locked, but he was an experienced locksmith and was able to pick the lock. On the other side of the door was a massive room, 300 wide in each direction. There was a fenced walkway around the room. The walkway he was on was at the top of the room. The bottom must have been at least 100 feet below him. Interestingly enough, there were trees in the massive pit below, and the area was lit, presumably with ultraviolet light. Suddenly, he heard the trees and bushes below him rustling. Was there something down there, he thought. What he saw next nearly gave him a heart attack. The head of a T-Rex had emerged from the leaves of a tree. A million thoughts ran through his head, but the only thing he did was rush out of there. Two weeks later, he would try and rediscover the hatch, but never found it.